baseball fans, and welcome. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the Chicago White Sox taking on the Seattle Mariners. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go. And towing the slab here, Marco Gonzalez. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch-to-contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie, he doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. Hanniger makes the grab, one pitch and one out. Now we take a look at the lineup put together by the Hall of Fame manager, Tony La Russa. This team collectively, Chris, the bat-to-ball skills are outstanding. They lead the league in total hits coming in. Yeah, Boog, I, I wouldn't want to be a pitcher who's got to face this lineup. I mean, every spot in the order, dangerous. Really professional hitters that walk to the dish. I mean, they just don't give away at bats. Ton of contact. You know, these fielders behind this pitcher, they better be on their toes because the ball is going to be in play a whole lot. Yeah, when the ball is in play, at least from an offensive perspective, eventually something good can happen. Next pitch is popped up. Puts it away for the out. That is third. The Two field. outs, base is empty. Aloy. Here's the left fielder, Aloy Jimenez. And it's fouled away. No score just getting started. Top of the first. Next offering misses. And the count is one and one. And another ball. The 2-1. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first. Out number three. Nothing to do it for the White Sox. Now it'll be the M's turn. No score. You're dialed into the show. We go to the bottom of the first. And our starting pitcher here today, Dylan Cease. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure He's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight. They start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. The ball comes out of his hand with more life. And he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Now a screamer into the outfield. Robert right there to make the grab. And there's one down. And let's take a look at the lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat, perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Mitch Hanniger sends it out. It's his eighth home run of the year. And the Mariners have the lead. It's 1-0. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. But the guy's got a real hard fastball. You can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. And now here is Cal Raleigh. One ripped right center field. Way back there. Gone! He powers one out to right field, and they tack on to their lead. It's 2-0. Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So one out, nobody on. 
Eugenio Suarez up next for the Mariners. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. Eugenio Suarez blasts one out. His 26th of the year, and they boost their lead. It's 3-0. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Back-to-back-to-back to back to back home runs, and these guys look so dominant right now. A pitcher might want to check and see if he's tipping his pitches or not, but I tell you what, if this was basketball, that opposing team would call a timeout to try to slow down this offense. Pulls it in for the out. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Ty France goes deep. His 19th home run of the year, and they add a run. It's 4-0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boo. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dip. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. That is seven. Not shortstop. J.P. In the air, right oh, side. Angle. Heading to the alley. Puts the squeeze on it. That is the inning. <coughs> we'll head to inning number two with T-Mobile Park. It's the Mariners four and the White Sox nothing. Back here at the ballpark, second inning set to go. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Yasmani Grandal. Towards first, and it goes just foul. And now the lefty. He swings and fouls one off. Oh, and two now. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the grab one away. That is it. The second baseman, John. Digging in, Josh Harrison. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. He'll do it himself. And a couple of quick outs. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Elvis Andrews takes a ball here as he stands in now. Next offering is in for a strike. And he deals. Called strike right there. On the ground, right side. Toro handles. The throw to first. That ends the frame. Down in order go the White Sox. They trail it here for nothing. Welcome back. Bottom of the inning. Here's Jesse Winker. Leading off. Four left the pitch. No left fielder. Jesse. Line drive and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. So, a man aboard. Now it's the Mariners' DH, Kurt Casale. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. Left field, way back there. That one on its way. And it is gone! Home run number five on the season, and they add to their lead. It's 6-0. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sights set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here comes the manager out of the dugout, and he'll make a move for the bullpen. Dylan Cease won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Kendall Graveman. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. And now, Julio Rodriguez. He's over one. The center fielder, number Out five, towards right center field. Robert. Long run into the gap. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one down. Now, 
now batting Mitch Hanniger. He's already homered in this game. Now a blast to left center, way back there, on its way, out of here. Mitch Hanniger leaves the yard. His second home run of the game, and they add to the lead. It's 7-0. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the now baseball, it. squared it Get up, her. and the backspin yeah. carried it out of here. Next to hit, Cal Raleigh. That one hammered center field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. He's already homered here in this one. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. He'll touch them all. He's done it again. His second homer of the game. It's 8-0. Singy, the ball is jumping off his back. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. And that's the inning. We play two full. It's the Mariners eight, and the White Sox nothing. New inning getting started. The batter now is Adam Engel. Leading off for the White Sox. Gonzalez back to work. Adam to the right side. Engel. On to France. That takes care of Engel. Here's the White Sox DH. Leori Garcia. A switch hitter batting right. First pitch just misses. catcher on the same page right now. Andrew Vaughn now on the ground. Oh, look at the stop. Gathers and throws and very nicely done for the out. One, two, three, go the White Sox. And they're on the short end of an 8-0 score. As we go to the last of the third, now here is Ty France. The first baseman. And the pitch. That one ripped left field. Gone! He made him pay for that one. Home run number 20 on the year. It's 9 nothing. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he is really seeing the ball well in this one. That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. The batter will be the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Hammered, base hit. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Now Man, there are a lot right of here. hits there. Man at first, and up next Winker. for Seattle, Jesse Winker. Swings and lifts one to deep center field. And it hits the fence. The run scores all the way from first. And it's a double-digit lead as they're up by 10. Nice double right there. Loud contact sure. coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air no. under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. White Sox going with a new arm. Lambert. Jimmy Lambert. He'll try to strand the runner at second. So, a man aboard. Here's Kurt Casale. He's one for one with a two-run homer his first time up. He's got it. Runner tags at second. 
And he makes it up to third with one away. The center field, number 24, Julio. So the lineup flips over. Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez digs in now. He can't get there. It's a base hit. In comes the run from third to add on. And the lead continues to grow. And he's got a double. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. The batter, the right fielder. Spoke to the left, base hit. Rodriguez, around third. Throws to second. The run comes in from second. It's 12 nothing. It's a double. Third hit of the night for him. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Man at second with one away. Now the Mariners Cal catcher, Cal Raleigh. Cal Raleigh. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. He flexes his power with that swing, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 14 nothing. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. And Eugenio Suarez is up to the plate now. Pulled down the line. This one hammered, but it's foul. All over the first pitch fastball right there, but just a little bit out front. Got to let it travel just a bit more. Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, if it's fair, out of here. A solo shot, and they tack on to their lead. It's 15 nothing. That was blasted. Absolutely, no doubt off the bat. An absolute missile off the bat, Singy. And StatCast gives us the exact numbers. Yeah, it was a blur leaving the park booth. 114 miles per hour on the exit below. Man, did such a great swing on that ball. Squared it up and just drove it out of here despite not getting much air under it. Vince Velasquez will take over here. He's been so good against lefties. Base is empty, one away. Abraham Toro up next for the Mariners. And the first offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. That one blasted deep to right. Back there. That one is gone. Abraham Toro blasts one out, and they add on. It's 16 to nothing. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Lays down a bunt to the right side. They get the tag on him, and that's the second out. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the shortstop at the play. J.P. Crawford. Ripped into right field, base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Runner at first with two away. And now for Seattle, Jesse Winker. Well struck right field. Pulls it in on the warning track. On to inning number four. The M's lead it 16. Back in Seattle, and now it's Luis Robert. The pitch. There's a strike. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. The one-two. Now he breaks his bat, and he grabs it foul. 
kicks and fires. Up the middle, dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and he's on it first. Man at first, Jose Abreu up to hit. And that one fouled off. And the 0-1. That clips a corner. Here comes a pitch. High chopper to third. To second, there's one. And that's two. Here's Aloy Jimenez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. At the belt and fires. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Third out, and that ends the frame. Bottom four, now it's the Mariners' DH. Kurt Casali. The wide to kick the pitch. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, digging for two. The relay, not in time, it's a double. So the batting order turns over. And now Julio Rodriguez, one for three. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. The relay throw. And the throw's offline, safe at third. And up next for Seattle, Mitch Hanniger. Mitch Hanniger. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. He sends it out of here. His third home run of the game, and they add a couple more. It's 18 to 0. He's putting on quite the show at the dish here in this one, and he's just so locked in with his swing, and he's just not missing right now. now. Three homer game, man, it's so yeah. special. And I tell you what, it's a lot of fun watching him pull it off as well. And that should be extra bases. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. It's a double, and he's three for four tonight. No, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. And a chance to make some history here, Chris. Yeah, he's homered three times so far, and now he gets another chance, at least we think. We'll see if the pitcher gives him anything to hit. It's so rare to see a three-homer performance, but even more special for that player to get another chance at the plate to do it again for four. Pulls that one foul. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. He's done it again, and they boost their lead. It's 20 to nothing. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare. They're so special and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up for you, but of course, you've got to make it happen too. And these are the types of performances that people just don't forget, and it's definitely going to live on in history. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there, on its way, gone. Is 11th of the year, and they add a run. It's 21 to 0. Well, he really crushed that thing down the line, and everyone had to hold their breath until it flanked off the bowl. And every time that happens, it just kind of feels like a trick shot or something. But really, it's just a stroke of luck that it stays fair Number long enough. Number 23. John. Now, Ty France. Oh, yeah. And that one hammered. That's on its way. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. 
He sends a rocket to left. His 21st of the year, and they tack one on the board. It's 22 to nothing. Singy, that's his 50th career homer. 50 might not sound like a huge number, but it's a nice little milestone that a lot of guys don't get to. One out, base is empty. And stepping in for the Mariners, J.P. Crawford. Shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Ground ball up the middle. Base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. And now for Seattle, Jesse Winker. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. Makes the catch up against the wall. Now pass the designated hitter. So two down now, and here is Kurt Casali. Puts a bunt down. Harrison tosses to first, and they're happy to just get off the field after that frame. So in the end, ten men come to the plate. Six of them come around to score. We played four. Seattle leads this one 22 to nothing. Back at T-Mobile Park, top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. Leading off and leading it off, yes, Monty Grandal. Swings and misses, and it's 0-1. And a pitch. Popped up, Toro under it. Squeezes it, and there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Harrison stands in now and watches strike one. One down, base is empty. That one down the line and foul ball. Out towards left center. Crawford makes the grab and there's two down. Here's Elvis Andrews. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two outs. And he grounds one to the right side. On to France, and that'll do it. And welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. The center fielder, Julio. And the right hater back to work. Base knock center field. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. So a man aboard. And up next for Seattle, Mitch Hanniger. Into center. Drops into the glove. One down. Man at first. And now Cal Raleigh. Really good piece of hitting last time. Going to the opposite field. Now fly ball to right center. And there are two down. Now batting. Third down the third baseman, A. Eugenio Suarez, trying to do what no player has ever done at this level. He's looking for his fifth homer of the game. I never thought I'd see this moment. I mean, this is unbelievable. This guy gets a chance to hit his fifth home run. Whether he does it or not, this next at bat's a pretty special one. And that one pulled down by Jimenez. And that'll do it. Back here at the ballpark. And now the right fielder, Adam Engel. Leading off the pitch. The, right the bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. 
plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this. Um, but, yeah, you definitely expected to see some offense coming up. Now it's the DH, Leori Garcia. Caught looking his first time up. This to third. Sends it across to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the sixth. Two oh, outs, bases empty. And up next for Chicago, Andrew, Andrew Vaughn. Vaughn. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Kicks and deals. Slow roller up the middle. On to France. And that is that. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do up. Mariners. 22. And stepping in for the Mariners, Abraham Toro. And the way he's going in this one, we've been waiting for his spot to come around again. All right, listen, everyone. Stop what you're doing right now. This guy's got two home runs already. Now he's going for number three. Ruiz back to work. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That one back. Up against the wall and brings it in. Ooh, he was all over that first pitch fastball. Just barely no, missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. And the batter now, Ty France. center and a base hit so they get a man aboard with a one-out single clearly seeing the ball very well in this one that was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging an aluminum bat it jumped off so hard squared it up and it went screaming at 108 miles per hour jp crawford up next for the mariners lifted in the air right center field robert turns and moving to his left he's got it and there's two away Now it's going to be Jesse Winker. On the ground, right side. And there's a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. Bunting, and he pops it up. Makes the play, and it's out number three. I got my blessing to get the blessing for the bread trend. The bread The bread trend. I got my Welcome back. Top of inning number seven. Luis Robert now. And a pitch. That's through there for a strike. The punch out there. And one away. And here's the first baseman. Jose Abreu. Up next for the White Sox. Out to short, Crawford gloves it. That takes care of Abreu. Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at-bat. Jimenez in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. On the ground right side, sends it to first. That's out number three. Picture on here, Matt Foster. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Back to the top of the lineup at the play. Julio Rodriguez. The pitch. That one drilled left field. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Drove that ball nicely, put a great swing on it, and it jumped off his bat. Kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. And now it's going to be Mitch Hanniger. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. 
way back there on its way and out of here. That was a moonshot. His fourth home run of the game. It's 24 to 0. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Stepping in, Cal Raleigh. Up next to Seattle, the catcher, Cal Raleigh. Ground ball to the right side. Takes it himself, one away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. Now batting. Third and now it's the cleanup hitter for the Eugenio. Mariners, Eugenio Suarez. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. That one felt good, and they add to their lead. It's 25 to nothing. Unreal. Absolutely unreal, Boo. I mean, this is an all-time performance right here. Five home runs in a single game? Are you kidding me? This is something we're never going to forget. A performance that clearly will go down in history as one of the best ever. And I'm just in awe of what we've seen. <laughs> He's getting a standing O for me right now. A new arm into the game, the righty, Joe Kelly. He comes on for the 35th time this year. Smoked on the ground a second. Over to Abreu, and that's an out. Ty France now at the plate. Swing and a line drive and a base hit up the middle. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration no in your Number hands three. whatsoever. Your Such job. a good feeling. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. And here is J.P. Crawford. Out to center. Robert gets under it and makes the grab. And that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Eighth inning coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're at the top of the eighth. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Leading off for the White Sox. The pitch. That one's in there. Strike one. Boop, that hook's looking pretty sharp today. Just a solid pitching performance so far, and I really think it's because of that curveball. The pitch. And takes low for ball one. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Josh Harrison getting ready to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. And he deals. Turned on, but foul wide of third. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two out. Good pitch right there. I mean, he's attacking a location that this guy at the plate tends to have trouble with. And there's just so much information in this day and age. Sometimes too much information, but the guys that can take that. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do it for the inning. In Seattle, bottom of the eighth. Now the left fielder, Jesse Winker. For the Mariners, the left fielder, Jesse. And the pitch. Winker. Ripped on a line to center. Robert makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the now process. The he did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Next is the designated hitter, Kirk Casali. Gets the bunt down the right side, Abreu. And they put the tag on him for the out. The center fielder, number 44. Here's the Seattle Julio. leadoff man, Julio Rodriguez. Well, 
struck left field. That's back there. And it's gone. His 24th home run of the season, and they add a run. It's 26 to 0. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. And here is Mitch Hanniger. The bat, the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. In the air, out towards right center. Robert on his way over. Makes the grab. Nice play after the long run. And that will end the inning. And welcome back. We go to the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Adam Engel. Gonzalez, back to work. There's the strike. That one to first. France collects it. The flip to the pitcher covering. Barely got him for the out. Close play. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Garcia in the box now. No balls and a strike. And now the lefty. And fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Stays alive. Right through there, got him. That's out number two. Andrew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. Now batting. The third baseman. Andrew. Bounce to the right side. Steps on the bag himself. Ball game. Really incredible performance on the mound. You know he's going to stew a little bit over that one hit that he gave up because when you look at the body of work, so dominant, if he'd have made just one better pitch, perhaps he'd have a no-hitter. So this one got a little out of hand. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so long.